And be very careful not to be cutting too deep when you're opening something like this. Keep your angle on your knife so it's very shallow and not getting into anything inside the box. But we have foam padding, and then we have a cloth bag here. So put our foam back up here. Wow, I mean, I can tell you already, the paint looks great. This thing looks flawless. Let's take a look at it. I did order it with the Chrome hardware to match the existing latches and stuff I have on the bike. Here's our bracket. Three keys, three keys. Not one, three. And we have a pad here. This would be the seat backrest. Instructions say install the four point docking kit according to the instructions included with that kit, which is right here. Step two is install the tour pack rack to the mounting studs of the tour pack. Step three, secure with washers and nuts. Step four, mounting holes of the tour pack rack are slotted, adjust position of tour pack on the rack and tighten it down. And they even give us 60 to 72 inch foot pounds. So let's get after it. Should just have to rotate this down and it latches in. All right, so we got the four point dock on here. This is slotted. We'll position the pack, figure out where it's gonna go and fit with where I want it for this seat. But you can always probably adjust it later in these slots. Hey guys, it's the next day. So I got ready to drill holes in the bottom of the tour pack to mount it. And I realized my drill was in my tool bag, which is in the back of my truck, which my daughter had borrowed to go to work because her car is dead, which is completely off topic. And we're not gonna go down that rabbit hole. But anyway, when she got home, I got my drill out, got my stuff. So I'm ready to drill some holes in the bottom of this tour pack and get this thing mounted. Let's get that done. I'm not sure how well you can see it, but there's four indentations right here. So I'm sure that's where we're supposed to drill our holes. Now what I usually do is put the drill in reverse and kind of spin it on the center to make like a center punch type thing before I go forward. It gives it a place to grab and mark. I've already done it here, but I'll show you. It makes a little spot so the drill will grab a hold of and not spin around and go get off center when you start actually drilling down. All right, guys, I'm gonna open it up and try and get something started here. There we go. Now we'll get one nut on here at least so it can't slide off. Now I can open it up all the way. Now I'll go ahead and get the other bolts started and get them lined up before we tighten anything up. All right, guys, it's installed. I've got a benefit ride to do tomorrow, going to the Lake of the Ozarks for a benefit for somebody with cancer. So I'm gonna throw a few things in the pack that I always carry. Uh, in my other bag, I always had my jumper box and my air pump. I'm gonna put that in there, a few other things. This doesn't hold as much space, but I don't need it to most of the time. Most of the time that big bag is empty unless I'm going on a long trip. So we're gonna try this for a while. And Maybe if I need uh, more space, I'll get a King Tour pack and another rack and I can swap in and out. But I definitely feel like I like the looks of this a lot better. We'll get it out tomorrow, make sure it doesn't rattle or have any problems with it and stuff. And then I'll give you some feedback after I've used it for a few days. And uh, we'll be back then.